in today's video i am going to discuss the properties of lattices so here is the chain property a lattice l less than or equal to is called a chain if for every element a comma b comma c belongs to lattice then there holds the two conditions that is a less than or equal to b less than or equal to c or else a greater than or equal to b greater than or equal to c so this is the chain rule so we have to show that every chain is a distributive lattice see here chain property is so easy so if we take three elements from the lattice l so there will be two conditions that is a less than or equal to b less than or equal to c or a greater than or equal to b greater than or equal to c and now we have to show that every chain is a distributive lattice so we have two conditions for a distributive lattice so every chain so we have to consider a chain so for this the solution let l less than or equal to be a lattice first one and we have to take a comma b comma c so let a comma b comma c belongs to l so here there are two properties the first one is the case one is a less than or equal to b less than or equal to c and the second property is a greater than or equal to b greater than or equal to c since it is given a chain since according to the chain property so we have two cases here so for these two cases we have to show that l is a distributive lattice so according to the distributive lattice see here the according to the property of distributive lattice there are two conditions so distributive lattice so according to the distributive lattice so we have two conditions first one is a join b meet c is equal to a is distributed to b that is a join b meet a join c and the next one is a meet b join c is equal to a meet b so this is a meet b join again a is distributed to c that is a meet c so these are the two conditions according to the chain property according to the distributive law so these two conditions should work out and see here the first case i am taking so case one so according to the case one as it is a chain so the first condition is a less than or equal to b less than or equal to c so see here the hash diagram for this will be if a is like this so b is a is less than b and b is less than c so this will be the hash diagram and first property here is see i am checking the first property for this so first property is nothing but a join b meet c is equal to this is a join b meet this is a join c see here this is nothing but a join what is b meet c so b meet c so according to this hash diagram so b is less than c meet is nothing but the greatest lower bound among b and c b is the lower bound here among b and c b is the lower bound and c here and a join b so what is a join b join is nothing but the least upper bound among a and b b is the least upper bound here meet a join c so this is a and this is c so join is nothing but the least upper bound among a and c c is the upper bound here and the next one a join b among a join b b is the least upper bound from the figure and here b meet c so this is b meet c meet is nothing but the greatest lower bound among b and c b is the lower bound so b is equal to b the condition is satisfied and the next one coming to the second uh, distributive property so what is the distributive property so this is nothing but a meet b join c is equal to this is a meet b join this is a meet c see here from again this has diagram so i can write this as a meet so this is what is b join c b join c so join is nothing but the least upper bound among b and c c is the upper bound and see here a meet b so a meet b meet is nothing but the greatest lower bound among b and c a is the lower bound join a meet c among a and c see here the greatest lower bound here is a 
and next a meets c so here is a and here is c meet is nothing but the greatest lower bound so among these two a is the lower bound among a join a so a is the uh, least upper bound here so here a is equal to a satisfied so both the conditions are satisfied therefore for case see here for which case it is for the case a less than or equal to b less than or equal to c a less than or equal to b less than or equal to c we say that l is a distributive lattice l is a distributive lattice and see for the second case here so what is the second case here the second case according to the when it's a chain the second case here is a greater than a greater than or equal to b greater than or equal to c c according to the case 2 so this is a case 2 so according to the case 2 so we have a greater than or equal to b greater than or equal to c so the has diagram for this will be see here what is this has diagram so what is the least element here c c less than b less than a or else a is greater than b and b is greater than c so this will be the hash diagram see according to the distributive law so what are the distributive laws here so distributive laws we have to check the distributive laws the first law is nothing but a join b meet c is equal to this is a join b meet this is a join c this is the first condition so we have to check this so this will be a join b meet c so here is b and here is c meet is nothing but the greatest to lower bound which is equal to c a join b a join b join is nothing but the least upper bound so upper bound here is a meet a join c among a and c join is nothing but the least upper bound upper bound here is a so a and c a join c a is the upper bound and among a meet a so a is the this one the least uh, the greatest lower bound so a is equal to a this is a satisfied and the next property here for the distributive law is the second property here is a meet of b join c is equal to this is a meet b join this is a meet c and from the hash diagram here, I will show you this is nothing but A meet of what is B join C. B join C join is nothing but the least upper bound among B and C. B is the upper bound and among A meet B. So this is A and this is B meet is nothing but the greatest to lower bound. Lower bound is B or A meet C. So this is A meet C. C is the lower bound here and among A meet B a and b b is the greatest lower bound and among b join c so among b join c join is nothing but the least upper bound so b is equal to b this is a satisfied so therefore the distributive law for the case so for case for which case it is for the case a greater than or equal to b greater than or equal to c distributive loss holds distributive loss loss holds therefore we say that therefore we conclude that the L lattice L lattice L less than or equal to is show that it's L less than or equal to is a distributive lattice is a distributive lattice therefore every chain so we conclude that every chain is a distributive lattice every chain is a distributive lattice see here the definition of chain is also so simple so for these two conditions we have to we have to make sure that it satisfies the two properties of the distributive lattice. Then we say that every chain is a distributive lattice. So it's also so simple. So this is chain 
chain according to the chain there are two conditions according to the distributive law there are two conditions so according to the first case of chain so here is the hash diagram so we have to make sure that these two um, properties holds and we say that for this case l is a distributive lattice and see here for this case a greater than or equal to b greater than or equal to c this is the hash diagram and we concluded that these two properties holds then we say that the distributive laws holds all together therefore every chain is a distributive lattice and this is so 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 important please go through this video for one more time if you really uh, don't understand and if you really like you know what to do please raise your thumb pass it on to your friends and subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching and staying till the end